Hi people, it's me, Anya. My pronouns are she and her, and welcome back to my channel for my April TBR. I feel like I say this every single month, but I can't believe that it's almost April, and we're almost one quarter of the year done, or started. You know what I mean? Anyway, the first book on this list is called The Reappearance of Rachel Price. This story is a YA thriller written by the same author of The Good Girl's Guide to Mortal Trilogy, which, again, I'm so excited for the TV show. It comes out, I believe, April 30th is when the first episode drops. But anyway, this story is a YA thriller following a young main character who's determined to uncover the truth about her missing mother while filming a documentary on the case itself. This book sounds like it's going to be so good and so well done. I know I've said in the past, whenever I read thrillers, that I complain about not feeling emotionally connected to the characters, but I've realized recently that's mostly my fault because the reason why I don't feel emotionally connected to the characters is because I don't take time to get to know them because I don't trust anybody. But I hope that with this book, I will take time to like really digest the story and the characters and the dynamics as well as the mystery itself. You know what I mean? Because objectively, her previous trilogy is really, really good, which is why I am actually excited for the adaptation. So I hope that this book is also really, really good. And I think it's also a standalone, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, the point is, I'm so excited to read this book. It sounds really, really good, and it comes out April 2nd. The next book on this list also comes out April 2nd, and it's called Winnie Nash is Not Your Sunshine. This story is a middle-aged sapphic contemporary following a young main character who is torn between her family secrets and the joy of celebrating pride. I love young stories. When I say young stories, I mean stories that center about young people. That are about like celebrating who you are, especially celebrating pride. And I'm just so excited for this book. This author has written such great, awesome, sapphic middle-aged stories in the past that I just know and I trust that this story is going to be absolutely so like full of heart and good characters and great queer representation and everything. Like, I'm so excited to read this book. It sounds like it's going to be absolutely so awesome and so well done. I think it's been over a year since I've read a book just by this author alone, because last year I believe she co-wrote Camp Quilt Bag, which was so awesome, but I can't remember the title of the book that she wrote by herself prior to that. But anyway, the point is, I trust the author's reputation so much that I'm so excited to read this book. So with that said, this book comes out April 2nd. The next book on this list is called The Breakup List. This book is a YA gay contemporary following a young main character who's falling for the same guy as his sister. And it comes out April 2nd. And this book is also one of my most anticipated 2024 new releases. Because again, I trust the author's reputation so much. He previously wrote The Darius the Great Duology, as well as Kiss and Tell, which was one of my most favorite books of 2022. So naturally, I'm so excited for whatever he will write next. I'm so excited for this book. I just know that it's going to be absolutely so good and so awesome. I love sibling dynamics, especially between a brother and a sister. Like, I love gay romances. I think the main character is in theater, if I'm not mistaken. I love theater settings, just in general. I love Hamilton, that's unrelated. But, like, I'm so excited for this book. It sounds like it's going to be absolutely so good and so well done. What this author does best, historically, is craft such amazing, authentic characters. So, anyway, with that said, I'm so excited to read this book. Like I said, it comes out April 2nd, like the previous two books on this list. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. The next book on this list is called Canto Contigo. This book comes out April 9th and it's a YA gay coming of age story, as well as a love letter to mariachi and part rivals to lovers romance. And it also talks about the ways in which people we love change us and shape us. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm so excited for this book as well, because it sounds like it's going to be so amazing and so well done. Literally, again, I trust the author's reputation so much. Their previous book, Ondo and Santi Will Heal, is one of my favorite books of 2023. Like, it was so good and educational and just so awesome and emotional. So anyway, with that said, I just know that this book will also be so emotional and so well done and just so awesome, especially with the characters and the romantic dynamics. Typically, Rivals to Lovers 
it's not always my favorite like romantic trope but within like gay and marginalized communities it's usually done so much better i don't know in straight romances i'm always like thinking about the girl in the situation i'm like girl stand up he's not worth it but anyway the point is i'm so excited for this book i hope that it's going to be absolutely so amazing so anyway with that said this book comes out april 9th and i'm so excited to read it the last book on this list, and certainly not the least, hopefully, is called To Dark Shore. This book comes out April 30th, and it's a YA fantasy following a sapphic autistic main character who's determined to kill the monster who killed her best friend. I'm so excited to read this book. I just recently read A Prayer for Vengeance, which was absolutely so good and so awesome in so many different ways, but especially in the autism representation, like it was so good. So naturally I'm so excited for the author's second book. Second of all, I believe this book has sapphic best friends to lovers, which is absolutely so exciting and just so good. Like I'm just so excited for this book. It sounds like it's going to be absolutely so awesome and so well done. The synopsis sounds so intriguing and so detailed. I love fantasies that have such like intricate world building. So if this book is anything like a playoff for vengeance, I just know that I'm going to read it at least four stars, if not higher. But anyway, with that said, this book comes out April 30th and I'm so excited to read it. So in conclusion, my April TBR is much shorter than previous TBRs. And that's because one thing that I've learned so far this year about my reading is that if I take more time with the books that I'm reading and don't necessarily rush to read them as soon as they're out, I will probably enjoy them a lot more, if that makes any sense. So anyway, I just decided this month to be a little bit more picky. So anyway, in conclusion, if you enjoy this video, please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below the sunflower emoji if you made it all the way to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!